problem because if I sit here and ask, okay, cool, if I pay every bill in this house, right, and I fix everything in this house because I'm an electrician, what are you what are you bringing to the table? And I want to know what are you bringing to the table for the man that takes care of you? Here, here, here we go and take notes. So <laughs> what I do is I make that house that you pay for, that you pay that mortgage for, I make it at home. I cook the meals. I'm washing clothes. That's a hundred dollars a week. Don't play with me. I, I cook, can get it made. No, 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 no. You see that? And see that's where you're going wrong. It costs more than a hundred dollars a week to have somebody cook for you, to have somebody clean up after you. Because a lot of times you men become our children. All right, we dress y'all. You know, like, so I don't think Amanda really cares too much about how much you make versus how much she makes. She cares about how much she likes you versus how much she doesn't like you. And I feel like the problem is when. So I'm stopping this video early on because all the videos where I talk about this, there's so many dudes in the comments talking about, what do you mean it's about how much a woman likes you? It's not about how much a woman likes you. It's about how much money you got. And my response is, I mean, it depends on the situation. But for the most part, when we're talking about real attraction, not just tricking off and things like that, or being a sugar daddy, it's about how you make a woman feel and if she genuinely likes you in terms of that. And that's why I say many dudes, they don't know about women when it comes to that. Money, I guess, you know, it, it's the, it, it covers all things. But not all women are, you can get all women with money, though. So, anyway, let's jump into it, man. Women go with a finance mentality into relationships. Majority of them fail. All right. Just trying to get a point across. Um, so, yeah, Rico did just talk for me, but he was actually pretty correct. You both were saying that we base respect on money. Which no. no, we said Aaron. Aaron. Oh, Aaron. Not you. Aaron. Okay, but okay, but I just do want to point out she that like she right. that she did say though you could make forty or eighty, but you will have to be able to take care of me. So say Aaron made seventy. Even if the man made forty, if he was still taking care of her, then I don't think that it has the balance. Yeah. yeah. Then there's the balance because like you were saying, Rico, it's all about who you are as a man. Like be the man of the relationship and take care of what you need to take care of, like in your relationship and like, you know, do the man duties. Then it shouldn't really matter how much you make if you're getting it done. If you're making a certain amount and you can't get shit done, then yeah. Well, how, how are you going to be with anybody? No, I get you. But like, let's also clear this air. Um, sorry, Aaron, that we're using you for an example. Oh, no. But, like, no, yes. Aaron also said that, yes, yeah, she can make 70 and he can make 40 as long as he's taking care of her. But then she also goes back to say that if he's making less money than her, she's more prone to disrespect his manhood. Right? Facts. I don't care how often women say stuff like that. Like, you know, if he's making this money or whatever, this, that, and the third. If you're not paying all of the bills, if you're not covering everything if you're not taking care of a woman in that aspect she is more prone to disrespect you and she's more prone to give you lip and talk talk shit because at the end of the day if she's covering the light bill she's covering the utilities she's covering the car notes who the hell are you as far as the leader of the house the leader since we we like to talk about this you 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 this is your household you're the leader you're the head of the household who the hell are you to tell her woman shut your mouth if that's your style you know what i'm saying who are you to do that when she's covering the bills? You hopping in the shower, she's paying for that water that you're you're rinsing off on. You can't have that big dick energy with that. But anyway, let's let's get right into it. That's unless you paying for everything, baby. Unless you paying for everything. Well, and, and take it back to most steps. Take, I'm, I'm more inclined to more disrespect inclined. him if he does something or says something. Yeah. No, but see, but see, that's the thing. I don't play those games, and my husband knows that about me. You come for me, and I'm, I'm not dilly dallying around. Like I'm literally going to say the most most hurtful thing that I can this to is you. Vindictive. No, I'm not. I don't argue. That's the thing. Like I will, I will walk. I'm Sagittarius. I will walk away. Um, I, I, I will say okay, but if you. She being honest with you at that, and you know who knows better than that woman that's in your life. They hit you where it hurts at. 
when it comes to that. And she's saying she will, dis even though she doesn't argue, she will disrespect you. I don't know how true that is. Maybe her husband will disagree, but anyway. You literally take it there and you disrespect me, you do something disrespectful, you, you're, you're asking for that wrath. You're asking for that heat. Okay. So you so you shouldn't feel a certain way when I disrespect you. You already know what's in my mind. You know me. Oh, I got you. So I think she's saying like oh, if ahead. somebody takes it there first. Yeah, exactly. She's we, gonna we, go full force. I understand yeah. that. And that's gonna happen. She's making like especially if the woman is making more money and hypothetically speaking, like paying for more things within the household. Naturally, like the man's masculinity is going to be threatened. So when he kind of like talks sideways to the woman who's basically the one paying the bills because she's making more, mm -hmm. like, of course, she's going to put she's going to. That goes back to the countless videos I said where women will take care of a man just because it doesn't force her to level up and she can say whatever she wants because he's dependent on her and you know, she can kick you out. That's why dudes should never move in with a woman and be dependent on a place to stay from her because at some point in the back of her mind, and even it doesn't even have to be in the back of her mind, she may flex this on the regular to let you know that this is my castle, I'm the queen, and you're just some peasant up in here living off me, and that's what it is. And a lot of you dudes get emasculated, get angry, and like I said, end up doing certain things, reacting in violence, cheating, or you're just walking on eggshells because you want to have a place to stay. <laughs> Put up, like, an uh, argument. But what if she's not paying? So, like, y'all yeah, got just one thing to say. Because there's a difference between a woman making more and a woman paying bills, bills. right? Because I could pay the bills for everything, and she makes more money than me. me. I was about to say, like, so yeah. if I make eighty, ninety thousand dollars $90,000 a year and that roof that you live under is under my name and everything that goes on is under my name and I'm the one paying it, but you make 110, you still can't say much to me. Oh well, yeah, there still has because, to be some form of my, mutual investment. Here's my but, question but, for you guys. Like, the thing about it is, and he makes a great point because if I make 60 and you make 80 and we live in an apartment that's just say $1,800, say $2,000 a month, right? So if you're not paying the rent, I'm the person that's paying the rent. You might be paying a light bill. But, and, and at the end of the day, if I'm paying the rent, you saved, what, that's 24000 a year. So how are you going to disrespect me? You won't even be saving goddamn $24,000 no, a year. No, you're right. And, she, she, and, 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 Amanda, and Amanda alluded to that. She's saying if you make less, okay, cool. But if you make less and you still can't take care of the basic necessities in this relationship or in our house, that's the problem. If you make less and you fail to monetize a skill that you have... That, that financially benefits our household, that's a problem. Okay, cool, you make 60, but you're also an electrician. That brings in 40,000 extra in our house a year. That means all the, 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 the lights, the, uh, the, the ceiling fans, all the shit electrically based or whatever, you take care of it. So that's monetizing what your skill is. So it asks our and household. that's called providing. And I want to make sure that y'all understand that men provide in more than just a financial way. That's and that's my problem because if I sit here and ask, okay, cool, if I pay every bill in this house, right, and I fix everything in this house because I'm an electrician, what are you what are you bringing to the table as a woman? What realistically? Now, before we get to whatever to her answer, so if I'm providing, right, and it's my goal, if this is my castle, whether my wife or which is going to be my wife, if that's the case. <laughs> if we're living together uh, If I'm paying the bills I'm going to be paying all the bills But there's going to be some some sort of agreement Or a contribution being done But I'm not going to look for her to Basically oversee Or be the facilitator of uh, To facilitate any repairs Or anything needs to be done around the house For the upkeep of this house As the man I feel like I'm in charge of that Now women They can say we take on a role as a homemaker And things like that which supposedly a wife makes a home. You, you buy the house, you know how this old saying goes, the man builds the house, buys the house, and the wife or the woman makes it a home. But a lot of these things, depending on the relationship, many of these things I feel like are geared towards an actual marriage in terms of bringing this stuff to the table. 
other than have sex. Oh, you 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 asking me? I, I'm asking you. Oh, okay, person. so are you asking oh, her as a woman that makes more? No, no, no. Okay. If I'm making, I'm just I'm asking. You know. I'm you know. What are you bringing? Actually. And I'm every a, lady here, I want to know what are you bringing to the table for the man that takes care of you? Here, here, here we go and take notes. So <laughs> what I do is I make that house that you pay for, that you pay that mortgage for, I make it at home. I cook the meals. I'm washing clothes. That's a hundred dollars a week. Don't play with me. I, I cook, can get it made. No, 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 no. You see that? You see that's where you're going wrong. It costs more than a hundred dollars a week to have somebody cook for you, to have somebody clean up after you, because a lot of times you men become our children. All right, we dress y'all, we pick out y'all clothes, we cook for y'all. How long has she been wanting to say that and how many women have that same thought process as her? None of that stuff she named off. Any grown man should know how to do all this stuff she's saying. It's nice to have a, a helpmate or your wife there, but any grown man can do that. We cook for y'all, we clean for y'all, we, 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 we dress y'all like y'all little boys. And that's how a lot of them like to look at it, especially if you feel like you're taking care of everything. But that's nothing nothing really special at the end of the day. It's nice. It's nice to have those things done, which a lot of men do get women for that. But these are general things that men or young adults sh should learn, you know, because they you you want to be you want to have your own place or your own thing before you even get into that serious of, of a relationship of marriage to live on your own to know what it's like and learn these things. These are basic life skills that she's talking about right here. There's nothing special. That's why I'm just like, you're not saying anything spectacular, but I guess that's the first thing that could come to your mind. Oh, we wash y'all's clothes. We clean up behind y'all. When y'all leave your little, uh, little, little piece Aaron, on, on the floor. That's what you, you're a good woman. And that's what you do. But let's be clear here. It's a lot of- We're I talking listen, about I, me. I own a barbershop. I We're talking about I, me. I got you, but you saying we. Speak for yourself. Because I work in a barbershop, right? I own my own shop. The men complain that they it started off that way. But then they start slacking. They don't do what they, the they don't keep up with that same type of energy. And but they expect the men to keep that same energy of pro, continue on providing in that aspect. I can't deal with no woman that keep a junkie house, keep a junkie car, that I have to clean up behind. If I gotta tell you to you clean up after yourself, there's a problem. You know what I mean? So you, I'm hearing the complaints. So you can speak for yourself, but a lot of women say, I don't want to cook. But I they keep saying that. But they don't can't cook. cook. I keep saying that. We talking about Aaron Campbell. Okay. It, about so Aaron Campbell. We. So don't say we then. Yeah. Okay, well, let, let's, let's backtrack. I make a house a home. Okay. All the furniture you get to come home and, and lay up on, I pick that shit out. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 when the paper towels go 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 away in the bathroom, you know who goes to the store? All this is basic adulting. If you got a nine to five, you can do this stuff on the way home. You can do this stuff on your phone. It's not hard. This is basic adulting. Picking up toilet paper, picking out furniture. You know, men men can have style too. Is I mean, anyway, man. Or to get them, you know who gets on Amazon to get that? All the shit that you don't even think about that makes your life easier, I do that. Let me ask you a question. Guys, am I in the Twilight Zone? Is this not something? Maybe you guys don't, I don't know. That's something, and like, I've been, I've been holding down my house by myself for, you know, the past seven years. It's just me here and my, my two older sons, but I've been holding it down for seven years. This is just normal stuff that a bachelor or bachelorette would do. So I, I don't know what the hell she's talking about. Right, everything that you're telling me can be bought. Guess what? I can have an assistant order me paper towels and toilet paper and groceries on Amazon. Actually, I get Whole Foods. Bro, you can do it yourself. You don't even have to have an assistant to do that. This is basic adulting, man. Deliver to my house weekly. It's a subscription. I get meal preps every week. My meal preps is $120 and I get three meals a day. I make myself my own breakfast. That's four square meals. I have another cleaning lady. She charges me $100 a week to come clean. You are only saving me $600. Uh, in a nutshell, maybe you six to eight hundred dollars. But what I'm saying, maybe I live in a five thousand square foot regardless, home. I'm I'm saying, managing your that services 
are can be paid for. So what are you bringing outside? Of, listen, if you ask a man, what is he bringing to the table? I'm bringing a house to the table. That I I'm can also a, pay for yeah. myself. Okay, but you're not. That I, but I can. But you're not. But I can. But you're not. And you're not willing to. I That's am willing point. to. I was taking care of myself before I was married. And then you got and married got and stopped house. taking I care of yourself. I have multiple mortgages. I still take care of shit. That's the That's, thing. Listen, I'm not saying you can't make money. What I'm saying is what you're bringing... What you're bringing to this table is a service that can be paid for versus what a man has to bring to the table for your life. You can't buy somebody to buy you a home. I can buy somebody to cook and clean for my house. I can't buy a person to come give me a house, give me a car, take care of me, and make sure all my bills but are I in the house. But I can still do that. That's what you... I'm not saying that you can't. I'm saying that you're not. And I'm saying that you're not willing to. So, I, did so you just what hear I, what I said? I, I've done it before. Before. So, fellas it, and ladies who are watching, it brings the question, what are we getting married for? If this is the case, right? Is it just children? Is it just to have a life mate? Is it just to have someone there every night? Is it just someone to be your servant? What are we getting married for, folks? For that, so okay, I can I'm, and I I'm will. Just gonna, I'm just going to interject here. Can I do that? Um, so I just want to say that besides Aaron, I feel like other women have a different approach on what they bring to the table. So me specifically, I'm not a female that says I cook, says I clean. I could definitely do all those things, but I definitely don't want anyone to feel like that's my job as a woman in a house. So yeah, I'm not going to come and, and say that that's what I'm doing. Um, me as a female, as a, as a boss, as an entrepreneur, I'm going to dish the money. You'll never know that I make more than you, that I make less than you. I'm always going to treat my partner as an equal. Me, even if I, even if you're, if I'm making more than you, I will never want to take the masculinity away from my, my partner um, in saying, oh, well, I make more and blah, blah, blah. But if we're going to go half and half on the bills, I'll, I'll pay this bill and this bill. What you paying this this month? Um, I'm, I'm going to dish listen, out the money. And I've always but, been... But that's not, listen, you could tell. First of all, you're not going to be my wife. And I don't know how much money you make. That just doesn't even well, make no, sense no. to it's me. It's not, it's not like so. literally you I don't know how much I'm making. But I'm not going to make it obvious in our households that... Wait, but let's talk that, about... He's bringing up something real. Well, she's, she's just saying she's not going to throw it in your face. I guess that's what she's trying to say. She's not going to throw it in your face and make it like... I make this amount of money and you don't, blah, 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 blah. You know, I, I'm assuming that's what she's trying to say. So say if you and your, so, uh, so say if you and your man, right? Y'all partner, you and your partner, right? You got, you're, you're equal, right? He just said two of those taboo words, guys. Partner and equal. Ah! Ah! I want y'all to go ham in the comments right now, right? Y'all hate those words, but yeah. According to, according to Amanda, you're equal, right? Y'all got $10,000 in a joint account, right? You make more money than him. Can we clarify how the 10000 got there? Oh. No, is it 50-50? Yeah, is it 50-50? Listen, it can be. Hey, listen, are you right? Just say you put in, just say you put in, um, um, it's 50-50. Just say it's 50-50. That's what we're going to do. We're going to keep it even because that's your equal, right? So now, here we go. So listen, so now this man, he needed a car, right? You make more money than him. You got a car. And he takes $9,000 and go buy a car. How would you feel? Um, I wouldn't put up with that. <laughs> and I'm Damn. I know but I'm gonna just I'm gonna just say like this so I do work hard for my money and I'm only downplaying how much money I make to you know I don't know appease you I guess but I, I do want to reference um I, I never remember this movie every time I want to talk about it but that Tyler Perry movie with where, where um Janet Jackson got the the HIV because her husband was oh, she know? anybody know that something movie for black girls right she obviously she was a lawyer she made more money than her husband and her husband took out a lot of the money out of their joint account and she was pissed and I understand that's not okay but and then uh, now I do want to reference crazy rich Asians where the girl felt guilty for having way more money than her 
husband so she used to shop on the low so that's maybe something i would do but not like shop on the low but have a like a a different account but what is the problem this is just too much it's just i don't know how old that how old she is that's just too much i'm gonna hide the money to not emasculate him or make him feel less than and all this shit yo if you're married it is what it is you don't have to do all that hiding just to appease someone's ego. You know what I'm saying? If that's who you choose to be with, either they have this understanding or they don't. And that's just going to be what it is in terms of the, what what the money is. But I do think, even though you, you guys are supposed to be together, just be prepared that anything could happen. And I'll just leave it at that. Please help me out here. What is the problem for a man don't mind his woman making more money than him. What is the problem? I, don't, I, I, I don't personally believe that there is a problem for people who make that decision. If that's your decision to not feel a certain way, baby, that's on you. But as for me, in, in, in my house, this is how I feel. You know what I mean? And I think that a lot of women of a certain age and of a certain uh, uh, tax bracket may feel the same way well okay. Wait, i actually want to say and i kind of agree with one thing that she says and she said of her age and that's a big factor because you know i really really sat down and thought about this and i personally feel like you know you got the typical traditional way right where the man has to provide the house and everything right because growing up in the 1985, let's just say, or 1940s, women had less rights or made less money. So the man had to compensate for the restrictions that they placed on women. But now we're in 2021. Mm. There is no restrictions on women. Rico. Women can get a great job. Women do have great jobs. That's women right. have the right to go to Is colleges. Is that equal pay? Uh, yes. There, uh, actually, no, 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 wait, time, time, out, time out, guys. Time out, guys. I want to, don't, There's we're going to no get right into that. Yeah, but I want to let you know, there is equal pay, but it is multivariate. But before I dive into that, um, women do have that great uh, right, and they deserve it. I'm not saying that women don't deserve it. I, I, I'm, I'm actually happy to see that women can do everything They're that a liberated. man could do in terms of any occupation or any type of earning money or earning a salary. And now in 2021, when a woman can make the same amount of money as a man, like when I went to college at Montclair State University, 63% were women. You understand that? Like, that means 37% percent were men. That means there was almost double women in a college institute that I was in. Y'all, that means y'all run the work. Y'all, y'all actually, there's more y'all in the workforce. So exactly, yes, men probably make more money if the, if they get that position. But people like us of color, right? They actually want to hire the black woman because you're a woman and you are a minority. So for us, we we still trying to get that job. So yeah, if I got that position that you was in, yes, I would make more money than you. But the thing is, if I could get that position, so it kind of it still balances out, which is why 40% going back, he used 38%, but CNBC said 40% as of 2019. As of 2019, they are heterosexual relationships. I'm making more money more money than the men. So um because there was like almost double um, females at the college, it's probably just based on the fact that like men can work for you know the union or blue collar jobs, where like women typically don't apply for those jobs. They have to go to school to get that you know career that's going to give them. It's not typically they don't, and women prefer not to work in those positions. A lot of those blue collar jobs is typically filled by men that check you know anything stem um anything with benefits like with covid 19 you know health care that's that's really what's like super current like right now um will i be okay and sustain if anything were to happen to me like in a hospital or anything but within the relationship there has to be like Regardless of whatever is happening in the household regardless of whoever is taking the responsibility of the mortgage the other party has to have this opportunity based on the standards of the relationship to contribute and make investments to the household. And if not, if the male prefers that, you know, he just wants to take care of it and he wants to hire people to take care of it. Okay, then let's talk about 
Stay okay. So let's talk about this next property, babe. I'm a, okay. I want to put my money into this, and you know, let's let's double it. Let's triple. And it had, like I, like I said earlier, it has to be an agreement like that. And I know I shared a video the other day about a woman was saying she was bigging up her husband, but at the same time, she says that she works as well, but she keeps all her money. It's not really fair, but whatever agreement, you know. There's going to be some type of investment or something going towards this where both of our names are on it at the end of the day. You know, let's quadruple it. You know, that's an alpha female and an alpha male. You know, they they probably don't argue about money because they're probably just making it work for them. Mm -hmm. You know, um, if you have it, why not double it? And any woman who is making significantly more or less, and it doesn't matter who has more or less, although the 50-50 investment is there, then the relationship is gold. Yeah, and I mean, like, like and, I, and I say this all the time, I really personally feel as if there always has to be contributions and the relationship has to be reciprocal. I, I'm not going to get into any, especially like me, I'm... I'm a little, I'm not the newest generation, but I'm like on the edge of the newest and the one right right before it. So I kind of see both aspects. And I personally feel like I watch a lot of women be successful. And I watch a lot of women not successful, right? Same thing with men. But at the same time, I'm focused on my partner. So my spouse, as a woman, I'd rather choose the one that has the success rather than choose the one that doesn't have the success. And if you do have the success, then I'm asking you to contribute your success to whatever me and you have. So whether it is, maybe I might take care of the house. Well, cool. Well, then let's start a business. We'll use your money for investments. But you have to contribute something. Otherwise... Yeah, of course. But this is just like with that expectation, like doubling back to Aaron, like taking the... Otherwise, you just got a trophy wife or some eye candy or just something for sex and kids. And, you know, that. That's why I'm so big on marriage being a business. And this this relationship we have going on, we, we're, 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 we're coming together and we're building this empire. I, I may already have my empire that I'm, I already got going on. You got yours. That's where this power couple comes in. The power couple just doesn't come about by one person just sitting on the sidelines watching you struggle and you doing everything and working these late nights. Nah, that's what help. That's what being a helpmate is also. Bare minimum of taking care of me. You know, there's just a there's just a honest traditional sense of security in that. As a woman, you know, he provided this home for us. You know, and it, it didn't matter who was making how much money. This is our home. Until you get upset. You know? Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, like, <laughs> no, 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 no,